This video is part of our free course on how to create an e-commerce platform like Shopify, using WordPress, WP Ultimo, WP Frontend Admin, and WooCommerce. You'll learn how to build a fully functional platform, where your users will purchase membership plans, to create and manage online stores easily. To manage their stores, your users won't have to use the normal WordPress dashboard, but will use a custom front-end dashboard for the entire network. They will view sales reports. Create and manage products. View and manage orders. View and manage customers. Set up payment gateways and taxes. Change their membership plans. Select custom domains for their sites. And everything related to their online store. The best part is that you don't need any programming knowledge. We'll guide you step by step to build your own e-commerce platform and start making money online. You can sign up to this free course by following the link in the description of this video. In the previous lesson, we displayed the WooCommerce products on the front-end dashboard. In this lesson, we'll display the WooCommerce product categories, product tags and product attributes on the front-end dashboard, so that our users be able to manage taxonomies for their products. We could create three individual pages for categories, tags and attributes. But in this lesson, we'll show you how to display several WP admin pages on one front-end page, using Elementor tabs. First, let's open the front-end dashboard site. Now let's add a new page. Enter the page title, and click on Edit with Elementor. Once in Elementor, we need to import the front-end dashboard template. Now we need to remove this element from the page, and add a tabs element instead. We can change the tabs colors as we wish. We'll add one more tab because we need three tabs. We'll rename these tabs. Now let's add each shortcode in each tab. You can copy the shortcodes from the text version of this lesson. Now we need to click on preview changes to display the categories, tags and product attributes on the front end. We can use the quick settings panel to select the URL slug of the page, and the navigation menu to which we want to add the page. In the categories tag, we will remove all these texts. Once we're done, let's save the changes. If we open a specific category, we can customize the form by removing elements or editing texts. Now let's open the Tags tab. We won't hide any elements here. In the Attributes tab, we can remove all unnecessary texts as well. Once we're done, let's save the changes. If you want, you can change the texts using this button. You can also restrict access to this page based on the WP Ultimo membership plan purchased by the user. Finally, let's go to Elementor and publish the page. This is what the Categories tab will look like once the front-end dashboard is complete. This is the Tags tab. And this is the Product Attributes tab. In the next lesson, we'll show you how to add the WooCommerce orders and discount coupons pages to the front-end dashboard.